Hello, this is Scott from the Living History School. And today we're uh, doing a little experimental archaeology. We're trying to recreate a rabbit warren. warren. It's like probably the first one in a thousand years. So what we did was we took... Ron, how, how, how long do you think this is? 60 feet. 60 feet? Yeah. And how high are the mounds? So we got about six foot walls and it's about 60 feet long. There where my feet are all the way to the end. So this is gonna be what is a natural area for the rabbits to, to try to keep them in there. And then what you do is I put a, found an old 55 gallon uh, plastic drum in the woods and some old uh, schedule 48 inch, cut it in half. And that's gonna be their, just kind of their tunnels to get them started. Basically what they have is a den. Then they can use, we're gonna fill dirt on this and they'll use the tubes here to go into their, into this den, or they can come from the back, or they can make their own. So what we'll do is we'll mound the dirt over top of this. And then it'll be basically enclosed, the whole thing will be enclosed with dirt all the way around it. And then um, to keep predators out, maybe we'll do a, do a, like a, we got all these slash piles up there, I'm gonna cut probably four or five foot uh, stakes and put all the way around the outside for more, another line of defense against predators but what will happen is if, if somebody's attacking the rabbits or they sense danger they'll just run into their into their underground den so this will be a big mound so it's a little experimental archaeology the first one in a thousand years i think i think the celts or the celtic people were the first ones to to do it and then maybe and then i think it was brought into england so there are some like pictures i saw some old pictures from the middle ages where they they had these, but I've never seen a modern one, so I thought oh, it would be fun to have the ex or the skid steer up here today, and we got to take it back. So I thought we a few extra hours, and we created one of these. So we'll keep you posted on how it works.